June was an incredible month for my personal brand, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my YouTube wins for this month, my thoughts on the current Instagram algorithm, and the platforms I'm going to be taking a top priority for the month of July. So last month I did my wins for the month of May and my goals for June and I didn't reach all of my goals for the month of June because looking back I put so much pressure on myself. I really set the bar really high. So it's not that I failed but I definitely shifted my goals throughout the month and now I kind of have a better idea of what I want July to look like and I'm definitely going to relax the priorities and the goals that I'm gonna be making for the month of July compared to the goals I made for June. So that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. The first platform I'm gonna be talking about is YouTube because we're on YouTube right now and it's actually my most successful platform this month I've learned a lot about YouTube and I tested a couple theories and that's what we're going to be talking about. And I feel like these tips are going to be very beneficial for someone who has a channel already and is looking to grow it or is just getting started because I think I cracked the YouTube algorithm just a little bit and I want to share that with you. So to give some context, the main way to grow on YouTube is posting consistently. Now over the years, YouTube algorithm has seen the word consistent in many different definitions. In 2016 and 2017, that was the daily vlog era and the algorithm would push channels that were posting daily vlogs. Logan Paul, Jake Paul. And obviously over the years that's kind of relaxed a bit and it's changed with the eras that we're in on YouTube. Obviously now you don't really see a lot of daily vloggers anymore. You know, Jake and Logan Paul, they're, they're not doing daily vlogs anymore. So the bar of consistent posting has kind of gone down a little bit and the golden standard is always just posting once a week. That's what YouTube sees as consistent. And I recognize that back in 2021, which is when I made the New Year's resolution to post every single Friday, no excuses, there was gonna be a video every Friday. I think I missed like three Fridays, but honestly, I'm really proud. I've been on YouTube for a while, never really posted the most consistently. I think that's what my weakness is and that's kind of what stunted my growth. In 2021, I saw a little bit of growth, which has led me to this year, you know, posting once a week is still good, but what about twice a week? I think twice a week is the new, like, gold standard. So this month I actually tested that theory. I didn't mention this in last month's video because I didn't want to say I'm posting twice a week and then just didn't. <laughs> kind of like what I did with YouTube shorts. We're not going to talk about it, but I made that personal goal for myself to see if it's even worth the time and effort. We're just going to try one month and see what it's like. And you guys, I feel like the twice a week has exposed me to a whole new audience. I don't know if it's because I've shifted my content as well, or it's just because I'm posting consistently, but I feel like I'm in a really good place on YouTube right now and I want to ride that wave as long as possible. So if you're not familiar with my channel or this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, what I did in the month of June was post two videos a week. On Mondays, I would post a social media or a UGC content creation related video. And then on Fridays, I would post my usual like a vlog, fashion, beauty video, whatever. Cause I still wanted to have that creative outlet, but I knew the social media videos were performing well and I'm super passionate about social media. So it was a great, niche to tap into. And I feel like the twice a week helped a lot because not only was I getting a newer audience on the social media side, but also there's still some people that are interested in my vlogs. And I think it's a really healthy balance between these two audiences because every single week, those two audiences are gonna get at least one piece of content every week. So you could be a viewer that likes both of the videos I make, so you get like double the videos per week, or you could just like me for the social media videos, still get posted once a week, vlogs once a week. But yeah, I mean, posting on social media, it has raised my RPM and my CPM, causing me to make more ad revenue as well, and causing me to get more subscribers and viewers. And at the start of the new year, one of my new year's resolutions was to make $100 in AdSense for one month. I just wanted a month of $100. <laughs> And for the month of June, I have well surpassed that goal. And I feel very, very grateful. And like I've said before, it's not about the money. This is obviously a huge passion of mine and it has been for many years, but to see that I passed that goal 
and me working so hard to achieve that, I am just so forever grateful. So that was just a nice little cherry on top for this month. Now the question is, what am I gonna do next month? Am I gonna still post twice a week? As of right now, I really like my layout of every Monday, you're gonna get a social media related video and every Friday, you're gonna get a vlog or beauty or fashion video. I still kind of want that creative outlet at least once a week, but I also want to talk about something I'm very passionate about and I know that the niche is working really well. So that's where I'm at with YouTube. Let's hop on to Instagram. Now, Instagram was the most stressful platform for me this month. Anyone else notice the low reach and low engagement on your profiles? Even if you're not a creator, you probably have noticed this. I'm gonna go to my most recent photo right now on my Instagram and let's just check out the likes and comments. So usually on an Instagram photo where it's like a selfie or like my face is somehow in the photo, whether it's outfit shot, whatever, it'll get like 80 to 120 likes. This photo right here, I got 35 likes, six comments and one save. And my reach was only 164 people. Now I'm gonna go back a couple months and see what my reach was like back then. Um, this posts 164 likes, 45 comments, three saves, and a thousand accounts reached. Hmm. It's honestly a kick in the ego because it's like, I know I get this amount of likes. I know my engagement used to be so good at one point and now it's just tanked. And I was kind of at a spot where I'm like, honestly, I just want to take a break from Instagram. I do not want to post on Instagram ever again. But now that I'm seeing a lot more people talk about it at this point, I just want to grin and bear it. I want to recognize, you know, everyone is having low engagement right now and let's just use this as an opportunity to just make Instagram casual again. I believe last month I talked about posting more on reels and posting less on the feed. I posted five reels in the month and only two of them got over a thousand views. And you can kind of scroll back at the, my old videos and I at least have like 3,000 views average and really good engagement. So just because I have low engagement and low reach on my Instagram feed and reels doesn't mean I have low engagement on stories. Now, weirdly enough, stories, I've actually had the highest views and engagement I've had in a long time on Instagram. So I'm still gonna be active on Instagram on stories when I'm like reposting content or making like super spontaneous content. But the feed and the reels, I'm gonna kind of backpedal that a little bit. So to kind of circle back to my main social media priorities, I have this listed off on my computer. Obviously YouTube I wanna keep as a top priority. I wanna ride that wave as long as I can and I feel like YouTube is the most sustainable platform right now for a few different reasons. Um, mostly because I have like the best community on here. I communicate to so many people on my YouTube channel a lot. So I wanna keep that Active. But the next platform I want to create a community and be consistent on is TikTok. I still feel like short form video is obviously something we all need to take advantage of. And I just want to have fun on TikTok. I don't want it to be super like scheduled and strategized. I just at least want to post consistently once, maybe twice a day. And I feel like TikTok, especially in the niche I'm in with social media and like lifestyle and stuff, I feel like people love that kind of stuff on TikTok. So I feel like I have a lot of information and value to bring on TikTok. I want to bring that excitement with social media back on TikTok but also Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest is so slept on. So my goal for Pinterest is to use it more than Instagram. And I've never done that before. I, you know, I said in a previous video that I repurpose all of my content on Pinterest. I think that's gonna be the opposite now. I think my main platform is gonna be TikTok and Pinterest. And then maybe I'll post some of that performing content on Instagram and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're gonna take a break from Instagram for a little bit. It's only my YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and a little sprinkle of Instagram. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some kind of value. Let me know in the comments below what you learned for this month and what kind of strategy you're gonna implement for your socials for the next month. I would love to hear your goals. And since we're talking about social media, make sure you follow my social media's link down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.